Okay. How are you, bro? I'm good. You? Yeah, good. the time zones, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You probably should yeah. discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit better. Like for me, now it's six. Or like eight, eight past six. So what? yeah, I literally as soon as you said it, I was like, I looked up the time in Belgium, and I'm like, oh shit. Were you talking about your time or my time? And then I'm like, damn. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm at home. So um, I thought you was at work for a second. I'm like, fuck. So, uh, yeah, yeah, normal. It should be normally, but today I had to work from uh eight to six. So uh eight to four. Just one day that I have to work eight to four. Happened to be this day. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all days. Yeah, like, divine great. time. Yes, <laughs> so sure. tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, I do. I, I practice holistic medicine. I teach breath work. Um, and I also teach about plant medicine integration. I mean, it's a lot of different things, but that's just the main three I'm doing mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Could you elaborate a little bit more on those if you want? Yeah. Um, breath work is, a, I'd say it's a form of meditation. And um, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Qigong, but I'll get into it. So a breathwork is a form of meditation that is basically dealing with cycling your breath. And sometimes when I do, when I first heard about meditation, people would um, tell me that it's hard for them to meditate and stuff. And I would be, I would be kind of confused because the way I learned about meditation was breathwork. I've seen with breathwork that you can like um, cycle your breath and like, um, you don't have to sit in silence that like you can take deep breaths shallow breaths like there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of different breath styles and a whole bunch mm -hmm. of different ways yes. that you can breathe it wouldn't be focused on just being in silence because some people just honest if you just ask a broad question about meditation they'll just think it's silence yeah. or something yeah. just be in silence listen to yeah. your own breath but like yeah, no. So, different yeah, techniques. Like, yeah, different techniques. And like, you don't really hear about people saying, oh, yeah, you can do a, a rapid breath, a yes. breath of fire. You don't hear about yeah, this. Yeah, you stuff. don't hear that a lot now. That's, yeah. that's so true. And yeah, like, once I got into that, it like, it really showed me that, okay, there's this, there's something to this. And I've seen that it, it helped me clear my mind a lot easier because I, I don't think I could just sat in silence at the beginning, but. Now I'm seeing that I get into the breath work that once you get to a certain point of breath work, you're going to be sitting in silence automatically. Like you're going to take a breath hold mm -hmm. and then you're going to be in that silence. It's going to bring you into it, you know, it's, instead of you just kind of throwing yourself into silence and trying to stay in there. It's, it's interesting, though, like it's, it just it gives me more variety to meditation, to be honest. Yes, like instead sure. of having to be one thing. But variety is important, too, because otherwise it, it can get a little bit boring. Otherwise, <laughs> it's always the same. Yeah, thing. Like if you can switch it up a little bit, that's I mean, a lot better and more interesting. It keeps you more engaged. Yeah, like when I was thinking about it, right? Like if you just think about it from just a source perspective, like you think source one wants you to meditate the same way every time? No. Like, you feel mm -hmm. me? It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. You feel yes. me? You're supposed to have fun with this. It's, I enjoy doing different types of breast styles. I enjoy learning about different types of breast mm -hmm. styles and different types of things that can help me steal the mind, calm, open my heart up, open my mind. There's so many different types of breast styles that you can do. So it doesn't have to be just one set path. Like, oh, I have to do this breast style to get there. And mm -hmm. it's like various ways to that same path yes for sure so when did you actually um start to do these spread works if you remember i would say about two three years ago okay like um i was learning like i was already um i already became vegan and stuff like that I just i cut out meat entirely right mm -hmm. and one thing i realized about me just cutting out meat right is that your body still has to find a way to sustain itself because you're we're, we're built off of habits mm -hmm. that's what, yes. what i learned like sure. you're built off of habits so if my body was used to eating meat all the time that me just going cold turkey the way i did could actually hurt you Mm -hmm. I had to um, incorporate some more practices and some more habits, better habits. <laughs> and it was breath work. That was one of them. I started off with um, Wim Hof and then um, they were teaching about how our body creates its own psychedelic. Mm -hmm. And it's in the psychedelic was called um, DMT, yeah. um, internal DMT. So what's the word for it? Is a word specific word for internal DMT. Yeah, I know, but um, I can't remember it either. I've heard it I before. I won't remember it. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, um, yeah, internal, your internal own Christ liquid that flows through everybody. Mm -hmm. So once I experienced <laughs> that, it was just like, wow, this felt, it felt like it gave me energy. And 
I definitely seen like when I did transition from eating meat to not eating meat anymore, you definitely going to lose weight and stuff. And then once I started incorporating breath work into my daily life and like doing that every day, I definitely seen like my weight fluctuations was stopped. Like I started to maintain a healthy weight mm -hmm. and started to gain muscle and stuff. Okay. And just from breath work, it's really interesting. Yeah, just breath work because the hormones yeah. and stuff, they don't tell, they don't, people don't really mm -hmm. know this all yes. the time, but our brain can create all these hormones that you would say that you need from meat and um, mm -hmm. all this type of stuff. That's, that's true. But it's already inside you, you know? <laughs> really interesting. I didn't really, I did, I'm gonna be honest and I didn't know that, that like just by, the way you're you're breathing, you could actually gain muscle and lose weight, stuff like that. It's really interesting. It's something I didn't yeah. know. So what, yeah. uh, what, uh, what, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I was just learning about how like, um, you can work out your muscles by doing breath work. And then, um, oh yeah, I didn't talk about breath holes yet. Like holding your breath for a certain amount of time and um, mm -hmm. like an inhale hold, like when you take a deep breath and hold your breath. Yes, I always do that. And then the exhale hold, mm -hmm. no air, holding your breath. You can um expand your lung capacity somewhat. And also you can flex your muscles and stuff. Basically, it's like a workout. You can <laughs> make it a workout too, if you want to. Like a simplified workout that circulates that fluid throughout your body, circulate that, that energy throughout your body, cleansing your body. There's a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. So what are the the breathworks you use the most, like in your daily life? I would say I've been, right now I've been using a lot of reverse breathing. Like mm -hmm. that, it's just like, <laughs> oh that my God. Intense. It's just been a lot, of, it's been my go-to for right now. I know I'm going to find eventually, I mean, <laughs> I always do. Like I always fixate on one breathwork style for a little bit longer than the others, mm -hmm. but I still use all of them. So like yeah. I find myself like, okay, I did reverse breathing for like, I've been doing, I mean, I still do, I like I would do it for a consistent amount of time, but then I'm like, okay, I want to do this type of breath style. And I would say like the main ones, especially the ones I first learned was I learned alkaline breathing. That was the like easiest mm -hmm. one to learn. Yeah. Like, I feel like everybody kind of knows it. Yeah that breathing style but they don't really like they don't really like um name it which is okay too <laughs> you know like you don't have to name it you yes. just can just do it um but yeah just breathing into your nose out of your mouth that was the first one i learned and the second one i learned was breath of fire and whew, mm -hmm. now that stuff yeah. is powerful <laughs> man that's heavy i've used it I remember, a few times yeah yeah after I, af I, after the you did uh the uh the glass in the server like after that, i've used it a few times but then it really yeah it's really you can feel the change throughout your body just to speak it's really really cool yeah and like i had learned for the breath of fire too like whew, there's a lot of benefits too like each breath breath work has its own benefits you know but they all overall have that benefit of that meditative state mm -hmm, but like yeah. they can specialize in like certain things <laughs> And like breath of fire, I could say specifically, it specializes with digestion and um, bringing more heat to your body. So I remember one time when I felt sick one time, I was something was going around or something. And yeah. um, I started feeling a little sick and I was like, dang, man, like since I'm a herbalist and stuff and like I like being sick, bro, is like <laughs> it's like a complete like throw off to me, bro. It's yeah. like, bro, you got all this knowledge, apply it like so. <laughs> So literally, I'm applying the knowledge I learned. I'm using herbs and I'm doing breath work. And I was using the breath of fire, right? I was going hard doing the breath of fire. I heated up my body to a point where the sickness left, bro. Damn. I can't make this up, bro. Like, <laughs> I burnt up the mucus internally. The mucus mm -hmm. got burnt up and purified. I purified myself just with breathing, fire breathing, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that was really cool to have. Yeah, like seriously, like this stuff can be powerful because mm -hmm. there could be people that have certain um type of diseases and yeah, I mean from my perspective, I think all diseases, most diseases come from mucus. Yes, so of course. I know most of them do. That yeah. If we if people start implementing this in their lives and start, you feel me, in a gradual mm -hmm. way and start doing it more, they can we can see a shift in the planet and just with people being less <laughs> sick. And the less yeah. sick you are, I would say the better you feel, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's true. That's really true. Um, and what was, because there was, there, there was another one, right? Oh. Al Alchemize, uh, Bread, Spread okay. of Fire, the Reverse, oh, um, reverse. And there was another one, right? Oh, um, 
I would say this is called um the la the other one I call it like it's like a two part breath. I just mm. I would say like, I mean there's so many more, but yeah. this is the main <laughs> I ones know, I usually lot. like I can go in depth mm -hmm. for like hours <laughs> on this music styles. I'm serious. Mm. But so um, but um yeah, I rem the one I was teaching in the class was also belly chest out. Mm -hmm. And I would say that was the a two part breath and okay. it would just I would say it's like circulating your chi because you go to your belly and then your chest and then you let it all out. Yeah, I would say belly chest breathing. That's what I would, mm -hmm. I would call it. <laughs> you go just like this. No, okay, belly chest yeah. breathing. Could you um um show it to us? Like how you, how you do it? Like the different okay. breaths. So we can see how you do it. it all right, so alkaline breathing is pretty simple. Is you're going to be taking inhale through your nose. So if you feel like that goes to your lungs more, that's okay and then exhale through your mouth. But even if it goes to your belly when you're doing alkaline breathing, that's fine. It's just a cycle between your nose and your mouth. Mm -hmm. So your inhale yeah. would be, like the way I do it is, I think inhaling, like you're actively inhaling, taking all that good life energy in and then passively exhaling. So you should let gravity exhale for you. That's how I usually try to teach mm -hmm. it. And then um, breath of fire is usually, I'm probably have to stand up for this one, but. <laughs> So like I usually put my hands on my belly. Yeah, yeah, I can see. So this is my belly, and it's like a rapid exhale through your belly. So it sounds like it kind of feels like you're like pushing, like you're blowing your nose a little bit, but you're letting the inhale come naturally, and you'll feel your belly go in and out on its own. And it kind of it it sounds like you're blowing your nose or something. It kind of does sound like it. Yeah. So it kind of does sound like you're blowing your nose when mm -hmm. you're doing it. And it's like a rapid inhale, and a rapid exhale through your nose and letting the inhale come naturally. So mm -hmm. it's all, all your breath styles kind of follow that same pattern. Like the breath styles I teach is, is going to be an active inhale or active exhale or a passive exhale or a passive. Yeah. A passive <laughs> inhale or a passive exhale mm -hmm. or a passive inhale or a passive exhale. So yeah, within okay. saying that, sometimes your breath style might be you actively exhaling, like I can actively exhale, like putting um, action towards my exhale and letting the inhale come naturally. And sometimes I might actively inhale and letting the exhale come naturally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I would say just, you can dibble and dabble with these things. Like you can, or you can do both. You can actively inhale and exhale, taking just full on deep breaths. Like it's, it's really interesting because there's a lot of different ways you can do it, like the yin and yang of mm -hmm. it, because yeah. it really is. The um, exhale and inhale is always going to be a yin and yang type of relationship. Mm -hmm. It really is. I never thought about it like that, like the yin, yin yeah. and yang relationship by breathing. Yeah, it's true when you think about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just made me realize that I didn't I didn't think about that like that before. Yeah. And like it just really shows you that like you can start like um um I say self experimenting with it and like you can see what feels good for you sometimes what you know like you can feel like oh I know sometimes I like doing a breath of fire when um like I know I might have ate a lot that day or something so I might want to um flex my ab muscles if I could mm -hmm. or just rub my belly and do the breath of fire yeah and I I feel the digestion get way better like i might have to use a bathroom in like 30 minutes if me doing it <laughs> but i feel good you know okay yeah and there's a lot of different breast styles man like there's like breast styles where you like use one nostril and Not you really. do a, a, yeah a different type of breast style and like for me i like to i like to mix and match breast style mm -hmm. so i might do alkaline breathing with one nostril just to yeah. just to just open to, up yeah. that open up that pathway and stuff and like mm -hmm. i realize this now like our breathing is a very much controlled by our nose mm -hmm. but it our is. mouth also is a capable of doing breathing too like it's like a fail safe i would say a little bit <laughs> it really like, is just in case your nose gets too clogged up mm -hmm. you yeah, got your mouth you got your mouth that was a backup <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Really so like yeah so like there's so many different types of breath styles and like you start experimenting with your like yourself and like okay i, I might want to try doing one nostril breathing like sometimes people might have a certain nostril that just might be more clogged up than the other one right you could focus on that nostril just mm -hmm. you know you can yeah, practice I've done that, like when when my nostrils are um um what's the english word uh clogged up um, when yeah. like like even if just both of them are clogged up um do i 
I had a technique to to free them by just um, also I don't know not really breathing but imagining breathing and imagining um, my uh, sinuses or however it's called opening up and then slowly but surely like a good breathe again like it would it would clear up so yeah. that's really that's really interesting when i when i found that out i could do that that's really yeah since i've always oh. used it since, since i discovered that yeah and no, i like i know this is like a really powerful thing because like we have to breathe like that's something that's yes. inevitable <laughs> it's <Yes>. inevitable <laughs> if we couldn't breathe then somebody would have already <laughs> did it already <laughs> But we have to breathe. That's like mm-hmm. one of the nest. We have to breathe the the, the uh, cosmic waves. I say yes. We always breathe in those cosmic waves. The things that we can't see, like you can't mm-hmm. see the air, yeah. but we know yeah, it helps know us survive. Yeah. Helps us live. The breath mm-hmm. of life. Breath of life. <laughs> That's nicely put. Breath of life. Yeah. yeah. I do like that too. Let's see. You no wait. Where is it? Um. You you said that you had like a vision about um. That saved oh, you yeah. from from a car crash or something like that. Can you explain that to me? Okay, yeah. I'd love to um, hear it. I remember just me just doing my spiritual practices and like again doing breath work and mm-hmm. I started getting deeper into my journey and I remember just driving, right? Literally I'm driving I'm driving my I'm driving my car and um no I asked my mom's car. I'm driving my mom's car and I remember literally having a vision of a car crash i can't make this okay. up so <laughs> I'm, i had a vision of the car crash mm-hmm. and i'm in the car and then i see the car the other cars that i was seeing in my vision yeah. and then my intuition was just telling me to stop the car and i stopped the car and then i seen the other two cars crash into each other <laughs> wow and I, I was just like wow <laughs> like i guess I just proceed after that, mm-hmm. like, yo, yeah. I gotta listen. I gotta listen to my intuition, my visions. They're all telling me something. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. That's really and once I seen the really cars cool. crash in real life, like once I seen it in real life, yeah, then you're I'm like, like, like these got validity. Like they're they're valid. <laughs> they're, I can't second. I can't second guess myself. Mm-hmm. I can't do it because yeah. I seen. Damn. If I would have second guessed myself, like, oh, yeah, this, then this, you would have been in the crash. I would have gotten to a car yeah. crash. Then. I would have had to learn that lesson. Be like, the lesson would have been like, yeah, you got to listen to yourself. Like, mm-hmm. we showed you the car crash and you didn't believe and <laughs> and you got into the accident. But I, I believed in myself and I stopped mm-hmm. the car and I yeah. seen it in real life. And and this this memory will always <laughs> stick with me. Like, yeah, I, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, of course it will stay with you. This is really <laughs> it's a profound experience here. Yeah. Yeah, and like yeah. I've had experience like those before, but more when waking up from dreams. It could be that I was just astral traveling, <laughs> and I interrupted those yeah. dream. Like one time in the winter, I was dreaming about um the chickens. Back then, we had chickens, and they were running loose in the in the garden, and everything was under snow. And when I woke up and I looked outside, <laughs> everything was white of snow, and the chickens were were walking loose um in the garden. <laughs> oh, so a, back then back then i was oh my god i got a vision something but right now i think maybe it was just me in the astral realm seeing them already walking in the garden yeah. <laughs> could be i mean yeah i would say prophetic dream you know like, <laughs> prophetic dream. like you, you were dreaming and then you woke up and it actually happened in real life <laughs> yeah like, oh shoot, what the heck like yeah. I remember dreaming about this. <laughs> yeah, but I've I've done it multiple times. I can't really. Oh, you, I, you I, have it multiple times. Yeah, that's yeah. a gift, bro. Yeah, that's I've, a gift. I've had it multiple times, but I don't really know. I can't really give. No, I don't remember. I know I've I had more multiple dreams about those. I can't uh, remember anymore. Which what, what the only one I really remember is with uh, with the chickens outside. <laughs> but the other hey. ones I don't really know. I, I feel like these are just our gifts that we. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. Yeah, do by be. just start believing in ourselves and yes. knowing that we're on this journey you know because mm-hmm. that's that sounds like a gift to me like if i woke up and then i already seen something in my dream and i know <laughs> it might like once you have that knowing like oh it happened before in that way like i went to sleep and then actually happened in real life then it might give you a heads up next time you know mm-hmm. you get a dream about something and then bam you know that their dream was just too much like the real world for to not happen, you know? Mm-hmm. For sure. But I think 
your story is, I think, much, much cooler because you're actually awake. <laughs> like, you saw awake. it while you were driving. <laughs> yeah. I haven't Bro. really had it before, I think. I yeah. mean, I, I feel like it's everybody has their own abilities, yeah. but I yes. don't have visions that often, though. I don't. No? That was, like, like one mm -hmm. of the... First couple times I had like a vision, just bam! I'm like, oh, like happened in my mind's eye, and I've I seen it, and and yeah, I was just like, wow. I guess like my higher self, my spirit guys, my my spirit team was like, yeah, you don't have to experience this if you don't want to, <laughs> and I didn't want to experience. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was basically good on the psychic ability I had. <laughs> I mean, I, I've since the past few weeks I've been able to read also, like especially, but I, I think it was because the veil was real turn also. Like when from the twenty nine to I think the fifth or the sixth, I really I still I can do it still now. But then it was really I just had to think of a person I saw visions when I asked them. They're like, yeah, I dreamt about it that last night, or or that happened in my past, or okay, <laughs> so, yeah, and hey, also hey, also past lives bro, and stuff. We getting stronger, bro. That's yeah, really yeah, yeah. True for true. Like me and Cash have been talking. I, I've I've un, un, unveiled a lot of past life memories for Cash also over the past few weeks. <laughs> it was really it was really interesting like that he confirmed all of it. Like, yeah, 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 it's true. I can remember it too. Bro. Like, oh damn. Like we've been we've been um together most of our lives. Like as in as in like real brothers always. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just well you we were just in, in almost every life you we were like brotherly close. We be choosing these we be yeah, choosing yeah. some we choose a lot. I mean actually we choose everything to mm -hmm, be honest yes. at a higher self level. But yeah, we choose this stuff because we know that oh yeah, we work good with this person, <laughs> or, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's true, how I treat them. Like, yo, I work good with this person, mm -hmm. bro. I think I think I should pull up to earth too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's so true. Um, let's see. How do you um yeah, so how do you incorporate your empathic and um what is it, telepathic abilities in your teachings in everyday oh, life? I mean in my teachings, like if I'm teaching a course of breath work or something, like I can like um help guide people in the session better. So I remember when I first did the Discord class and um we were doing a breath we were doing the kundalini and mm -hmm. um yeah the Kriya Yoga Kundalini, seated Kundalini and breath work. I remember that um, when we're doing the breath holds, right? I literally mm -hmm. could telepathically like sense that people were like, um, oh, my body feels tingling. What's happening, <laughs> right? <laughs> literally, I, I got the message like, yo, what's happening? My body feels tingling. And then I was like, okay, if you're tingling, that's okay. Before your body temperature changing, that's okay. And then once I said that to them, after I got their message, because they didn't say it you know, with no yeah, words, yeah, no, no words to yeah. say. And I said it at the exact time they were feeling it. <laughs> and they were like, yo, you definitely helped me out, bro. Because I was confused about the tingly sensation. Yeah. I didn't know what that was. And um, they, they, they told me after, like, yeah, I didn't know what that was. And then <laughs> and I told them, like, yeah, that's just like your energy just circulating, open yeah. up more blood vessels. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was just telling them. Like at the moment, if your body's tingling, that's okay. For your body temperature change, that's okay. You're in a safe space. I could feel like people like, oh, I feel okay. Like I could feel it. I could sense it and feel it. And I'm like, yeah, this is this is this is how I'm supposed to be using my abilities. Mm -hmm. Cause I yes, really love teaching. Sure. Yes. So like I mean, you, would, can, you, you will be a great teacher. I know. That helps somebody out. It it, it definitely makes my mm -hmm. day. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I mean, it is it is really fun to help people. Like it gives a real fulfilling feeling when you genuinely help someone. It's like, just, just an amazing feeling. <laughs> just... It really does. It really is though. Like mm -hmm. it definitely like just hits your soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, I would say on a daily life, like when it comes to like just interacting with family and stuff like that. It just shows me that I could be more connected and more, um, what's the word? I can like acknowledge, you can acknowledge others and like what their journey is, like what they're going through right now. Mm -hmm. Like I know for, um, just recently, like my mom was talking to me and like, I knew she needed to take a cold shower or something. Like yeah. I just knew it like <laughs> telepathically, her spirit guys, her people were mm -hmm. telling me that, yeah, she's going to, she need to take a cold shower. So I just kept talking about it, and I was like, "Yeah, cold shower, cold." I just talking about it a little bit more. I'm like, "Yeah, that that might be good for you. Like, mm -hmm. you should think about it." She and didn't buy it did, first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just did it yesterday, and yeah. like, cause she seen something on Instagram mm -hmm. talking oh, about yeah. um reasons why you should take a cold shower, and then she was like, "Yeah, I seen it, 
And I was like, yeah, I got to do it. <laughs> and she told me. And then she was like, yeah, I felt so, like, after I got done, I just felt so powerful. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> this... yeah you see? It's all and me. I knew I kind of planted that seed a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's really cool. Mm. I've done it a few times, but I don't know why I continued. Why I did, do, did not continue doing it. Like, I've done I mean, it... I would say every yeah. once in a while, bro, is good. Yeah. Like... You don't gotta do it every day, mm -hmm. but just yeah. Sometimes when you do feel down or something. Oh my gosh, like just a little down, and you need a kickstart to your day. Whew, no coach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, no like, imagine people with a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Okay, like you know, work work can be really stressful. Maybe at home also, or there are many people who have road rage also. <laughs> so just yeah. people that are, that have a lot of stress. Like, what would you? recommend them um, to do regarding to breath work or something else i would say i recommend doing i recommend doing alkaline breathing like if you're just mm -hmm. stressed yeah. out it definitely can relieve tension off your body in a way mm -hmm. it does really and like i've seen it for myself that you do alkaline breathing for like for again like it doesn't have to be like the longest like when people mm -hmm. think about meditation they think like oh i gotta meditate for hours and stuff like that no you know yeah, it's right. about how it's about how deep you want to mm -hmm. go in yeah. you know it's not about how long you do it because time is is like um Time is go varies from person to person. Like mm -hmm. something might be a long time to you, something might be a short time to me. You yes. know, it's just about how deep you go. I would say, like how relaxed you want to get, how how much do you want to let go of the stress? You know, and literally, I had meditations that were like sometimes I count my breaths. I forgot to mention that too. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, I might I might count up to thirty breaths and then I take a deep breath in and hold it for a little while. You know. Mm -hmm. And literally that that those 30 breaths might have only took me less than a minute. And I felt good. Like I felt like I did a good meditation, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't have to be hours on hours and hours, which it can be though. I've done that before too. But mm -hmm. like it don't have to be hours on hours. It's just about, okay, what can you use to de-stress right now? Yes. Like what can you use? To... Oh, and I, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Qigong too. Oh yeah. yeah so tell um, us about that. Yeah, so qigong is, I would say, qi means energy. I would say gong means movement. Or I, mean, think, me, I think it was something like that, yeah. Let me not mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I I just know that um, it, it kind of seems very similar to breath work, you know? Mm -hmm. Literally, like, oh, yeah, I'm just looking up to make sure I was making sure I got you. Okay, yeah, breath and movement. That's what it is. Okay, yeah, I was making okay. sure I got the right definition. I didn't want to no, somebody, somebody be like, that's not what it means. But mm -hmm. it's breath and movement, yeah. you know? Sometimes, for me, I know that me sitting down doing breath work might not be enough some days. It might not. Mm -hmm. I got to move. Sometimes I got to move. I just got to. Yes, yeah, sometimes you, know? you just got to. Yeah, yeah so I know I, I, when I realized about well, Qigong and stuff, um, you can literally do the movements and stuff, connecting your breath, getting mm -hmm. you to that meditative state. It's like breath work in a sense, but you're moving your body with it. You know, a very simple one that I've seen people do is just like they open their arms up and then they come down and mm -hmm. breathe yeah. and then they come back up and then breathe down. That's what I and do a like, lot. I do it a yeah, lot, actually. Very simple, but yeah. that's Qigong right mm -hmm. there. You know, okay. you're moving your body mm -hmm. and you're breathing, you know? And when I noticed, like, there's so many different ways to get to that meditative state, mm -hmm. yes. that flow state, that state where you're not, you're not just focusing with your mental mind. You're just feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, feeling yourself, feeling the environment, just wow! It just it just shows me that there's so many paths to that same root, mm -hmm. like that yeah. same, so many paths to that. Yeah, all the paths lead to that same road to source. That's what I see. <laughs> yeah, that's true because mainstream you don't really hear about other um, techniques or ways. Like it's you always, I said you always hear like. Just sit or lie still down, listen to your breathing, <laughs> do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> for like, like 10 minutes to an hour. I'm like, literally, sometimes people can't do that. Sometimes, mm -hmm, sometimes yeah. people gotta move their body. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, sometimes yeah. people just gotta move around. It just be like, um, like, yeah, everybody's different. You know, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's different, but we're kind of the same because we all gotta deal with the breath. You know, that's how we're similar <laughs> to, to me. Like, we're, we're different, but I know you got to breathe just like I do, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. 
and that's gotta, all the same. Gotta, gotta get them cosmic waves, mm-hmm. and it, yeah, get them cosmic waves into our system every day. And that's what I noticed. Like we spend the majority of our lives breathing. So how much consciously are you breathing? That's, that's how I think about <laughs> yeah. that. Like, consciously. Like, yeah. well, and when yeah. you do breath work, when you do meditation, when you do qigong, you're consciously breathing mm-hmm. and moving. Yeah. Consciously breathing is also more healthier than normal breathing, I think, because normal breathing I've learned is not really that healthy for you. Like the way the way most people breathe is not how you're oh, like supposed just, to breathe or something like that. Yeah, like I would say like when people just usually just um breathe with their mouth only and they don't ever use their nose. Yeah, like but that that varies from person to person, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, of course. Because like my normal breathing might not be your normal breathing. You know, and your mm-hmm. normal breathing might not be my normal breathing, <laughs> but we all have to breathe. And yeah. consciously or unconsciously, that's something that we do. And like just realizing that, like I would say just working with your body so you can you know what it feels like to breathe better. We all do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you can feel it. Like it's not something that um it's always good to put in words, but like you can just feel it. Like you know when you're breathing better, you know when your breathing is not too well. Like mm-hmm. you can feel it, you know, because yes, it's like, true. yeah, you really can feel it. So, but yeah, um, mm-hmm. qigong is definitely a big one. I uh, I teach too, and it helps um open the meridians in your body, the energetic points in your body, because there's so many energetic points, mm-hmm. not just yeah, the se- yeah, not yeah. just the seven. Everybody chakras. Everybody always talks about seven chakras, but there are like thousands. Oh, yeah, bro, <laughs> it's just <bro. laughs> so many more than seven mm-hmm. chakras. Yes, there's, you feel. To be honest. What I learned from just um just the breath daring knowledge and stuff like that, our whole body's a chakra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Every cell is a chakra, energetic point, a mm-hmm. sun, a, a spinning wheel of energy. That's so if we have tr- seven trillion cells, we got seven trillion chakras. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It is true. <laughs> That's the thing most people don't realize because it is true. People always say seven chakras. Okay, they are the main biggest energy centers but there are so yeah. so much more than that which people don't always realize that also have to be taken care of yeah and it's really taught it really when i started getting deep into the breath area and, and stuff like that i really realized that it's all a big chakra bro it's all working as one it's all it's all half so if one part is like down a little bit your body will compensate mm-hmm. by yeah making the other part um it, like yo like if your body's imbalanced in one place you will also have it balanced in another place mm-hmm. so it's like just working with your body entirely in general so you're working with each each and every toe each and every ankle each and every wrist each and every chest each and every nostril each of your teeth each eyeball every follicle of hair rubbing your scalp your skin your skin is the biggest organ so i mean this all of them is all playing. It's all a divine orchestra, uh, a divine instrument. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of it's a divine instrument. Um, yeah, we're all divine instruments making sounds and waves mm-hmm. feeding on cosmic yeah. energy. It's all frequency. And, and every movement you do, every breath you take is literally information being transferred from mm-hmm. you and, and the cosmic waves that are all around us. Mm-hmm. So what would you, for advice, what do you say, people who want to incorporate more of the movement in their lives? Like mm-hmm. how, how would you say they, they do that, basically? I would say um don't make it complicated. Like, don't make it something like, oh, I got to do 40 minutes of this every day. But I would say... Once you start gradually doing something like a little bit, it doesn't have to be your look like it mm-hmm. could be a little mini- a minimal thing. And I can just tell you from experience that I gotten stronger just by doing a little bit of things every day, mm-hmm. like a little bit. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be small. And then yeah. just doing that consistently or just finding a little bit of time because we're not working 24 seven. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, no, you're it's... not. You know, no. you're not, and um, you got some time. You got time. You got time. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. That, the morning, you make time for what you want to make time yeah. for. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, true. That's true. So if you want better health and stuff, I would say you can. You can simplify it. You really can. It doesn't have to be extremely complicated. So I. W- that's one thing. One of the things I'm wanting to do in this world, like to simplify things that people mm-hmm. would deem complicated. Yeah. And yeah, so I would say this: if you can, just do a couple movements in the day or do a little bit of breath work in the day you don't again you could 
you can be doing nine conscious breaths every day, just nine deep breaths. You know, mm -hmm. I'm just giving the example. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it a doesn't have, And then you could find yourself doing it during work, like depending on what your job is. I know for myself that I started doing breath work standing up. It definitely is a process. You're not, not everybody's able to do it immediately because <laughs> yeah. yeah, it definitely, Again, if your body's not used to even being that conscious, standing up like that, breathing, mm -hmm. yeah, that's... your body's gonna like, <laughs> we're creatures of habit. You know what habit? What habits can you put into your daily life? Doesn't hinder you at all, but actually progresses you. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So like, yeah. So we're creatures of habit. So our body adapts to everything. Like I've been learning that. Like everything, everything you can think of, our body adapts. That's all, that's all our body knows is adapt or die. Yeah, not <laughs> to say true. it in that fight, harsh fight way, but fight. that's what, you, what it is. Huh? Yeah. Fight or flight. That would I mean, be, oh, not really. I mean, not fight or flight, though. Not fight no. or flight. Like, your body's, like, infinitely intelligent. Like, mm -hmm. that's in us, yeah. though. Like, if we need to fight or flight, it's in us. We got it in us. <laughs> but um, I would say, like, when it comes to um, there's things that you could deem negative, right? Mm -hmm. Your body only knows adapt or die in a way that okay if you do something that you know that's literally self-sabotage you're and you're in your and you do it you've been doing <laughs> it like it could be um somebody uh smoking cigarettes or something mm -hmm, right yeah. like it might not be good for them but again your body only knows adapt or die so you adapt to it you live from it and your body is able to do it again if you choose mm -hmm. or you yeah. don't choose when it comes to people that deal with addictions and all this stuff like our body they showed me our body is so powerful that you can literally ingest poisons and still be able to live you know mm -hmm. oh yeah i've seen that somewhere i don't know what i saw it i saw it like today I saw, today I saw, I saw something like that that uh you you could take different I don't know what it was about, but I I, I had a like video a deal, scene to this. Snake? Sorry? Was he like somebody using a snake or something? Uh, no, I don't know. It was just it was like like just some um static image with um text on it and an AI voice saying that, that type of video. So I think it was an Instagram or something like that. <laughs> I remember um like it is it just makes more sense like it makes sense now like because I've seen that Rabai literally adapts to everything good bad everything. Mm -hmm. So I've seen this video I mean I've seen this dude uh, I think it's on YouTube and he was like using um snake venom right he would use a mm -hmm. little bit of snake venom. Yeah. And he would purposely inject himself with snake venom from a snake, but he wouldn't do a lot. Mm -hmm. But he would just do a little it. bit, yeah, yeah, just a little bit. And our body only knows adapt or die, right? So he's doing that little bit of snake venom. He gets sick and he gets better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. His body now he's immune to all snake bites. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so you, you see? know, yeah, it just shows the adaptability of us. So like, it just shows that like. Like yeah, not not to recommend anybody doing that because I'm not doing that. <laughs> don't, don't try this at home. Yeah, don't yeah, don't do that. But um, <laughs> but yeah, it just shows us that it shows me that like our body can adapt to almost mm -hmm. anything, yes, and it just now sure. I would say it's pick your poison, but don't pick poison though. But yeah, I'm not recommending <laughs> poison. But yeah, pick pick what you want to understand. Pick. Your body can adapt. Mm -hmm. whether it be a habit that you could consider good like okay once you start doing breath work or something like your body adapts to it it might not feel the best at first but it's gonna get to a point where it feels extremely good mm -hmm. or because again if you're dealing with like a whole bunch of toxins in your body when you start doing certain things your body gonna be uncomfortable because why it hasn't adapted to it yet mm -hmm. right yeah like um um drinking like i heard people that don't drink a lot of water right they say like when oh, they start yeah. drinking water they feel kind of weird but it's <laughs> inevitable because your body never adapted yeah. to it i have a colleague at work like she never never drinks water she, she doesn't like the taste and i'm like you should drink water <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. because you're you're yeah. full of toxins and you can see it in, in our daily life um but yeah. i am i'm teaching her so i mean yeah i feel like he'll learn he'll see mm -hmm. he'll see yeah sure but like honestly like um yeah like even when it comes to water like if you don't drink water on a normal basis when you start drinking water you're gonna feel a little a little a little awkward a little bit mm -hmm. um it's gonna be a little bit different because your body hasn't adapted to it yet yeah. you know yeah true. like even when it comes to eating foods and stuff 
Like, it oh, could be yeah. certain food. Oh, yeah. Like, um, <laughs> for instance, like, you can eat, like, a food that you know that's extremely toxic for you, like some mm-hmm. some super sweet sour candy or something. Like, yeah, like super, the su- super sugar candy. I, I, and you're, you eat that all the time, and our body's so powerful that it might take years for your teeth to fall out from that from that poison or mm-hmm. that candy, right? Yeah. But your body's so powerful that it can keep its teeth maintained for a long time. Mm-hmm. Like, it can, it can keep that that um poison or you, the poison or whatever you consider bad from actually making you super ill but that shows us the adaptability and the vitality of us and like it does it can decrease if you decide to age you know mm-hmm. and i've definitely learned that from just the breatharian perspective because like oh, everybody's a breatharian in, in yeah. my book i've seen your posts today <laughs> like i don't know if it was today but i saw i saw it coming by on your instagram like everybody's a breatharian. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't understand it at breathe, first, but then I read further. <laughs> if you breathe, you're a breatharian, and that's the simplified version of it. Some yeah. people like some people would see breatharian be like, you don't have to eat. You don't eat ever again. No, it's not like that. It's a journey for each and everybody if they choose. You know. Yeah. So, if you chose to not eat for a little while or you know that'd be your choice but again we all are sustained by um breathing and and even learning breatharianism they tell you like people that are really deep with it that if you ate most of your life and you just try to cut out foods your body built the habit on eating foods already Mm -hmm. how are you going to break that habit without decreasing the food or you know yeah you're still gonna have to use the food (laughs) <laughs> that's true. like you can't just stop it entirely that's a drastic change your body doesn't like that our body's built on habits right so you going like yeah it would be it would be not a the smartest decision ever for somebody that ate every day like ate three meals four meals a day to stop eating entirely just to try to force themselves to breath area mm-hmm. that would be very yeah. That wouldn't be smart. No. It wouldn't be intelligent because why your body adapted to eating certain amount of food a day. Mm-hmm. So if you decrease it, that's your choice. If you increase it, that's your choice. But just to stop it entirely, that wouldn't be a good thing to do. And that's one thing about people that think about breatharianism that they think like, oh, you just stop eating one day. No, it probably came from a process of me gradually. Like I could be eating like I eat. I still eat almost every day. But now I might fast like one time or two times mm-hmm. a month, yeah. you know, like I might, I'm just giving an example. Like, oh, like now, I mean, I'm going to give a real life example. Like now every couple of days or every couple of months or something, I'll go on a three day dry fast. Nothing. I don't eat nothing. <laughs> but that's, that's for me though. And it's different for each and every individual. Sometimes some people might want to um do intermediate fast, you know, mm-hmm. they don't yeah. eat anything from sun up to sundown or something right and i see it in a whole bunch of different ways you're you're not eating every day of your life you're not eating 24 hours of the day it's impossible <laughs> you know you have to be sustained by them cosmic ways mm-hmm. eventually yes your sleep like if you think about it um when we sleep yeah we're, what are we feeding on the cosmic <laughs> ways the life force that's around us the subtle the subtle the subtle life essence that's all around us mm-hmm. yeah yeah um so no i'm um, i run out of questions yeah most of the questions you already answered <laughs> so that which really great great sorry um but so for people who want to learn more where the, where can they connect to you um my instagram and i am going to be starting up a youtube very oh, soon okay <laughs> and um I'm I'm on all platforms at Divine Ski Thirty Three um, X Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's X now. <laughs> it's X. <laughs> it's X um, a Threads Reddit. Oh, Reddit also. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm about to get on Facebook too, because mm-hmm. I like I, I why not be on all social media platforms? Because there's, <laughs> there's a, a plethora of people that might mm-hmm. need to hear the information yeah. or this. And I know I learn from everybody. Learns from everybody. So every interaction, mm-hmm. like even me as a teacher. Every time I teach something, I'm learning from the people I'm teaching. <laughs> it, it just, I'm, we always are constantly learning. Mm-hmm. We're exchanging true. information with every breath we take. Yes. And yeah, so yeah, I definitely want to be on all social media platforms. And yeah, just doing what I'm doing right now, you know? But yeah, we still we still got some more to talk about if you want to. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I've just run out of questions, that's all. <laughs> so, um, all right. Okay. Um, just let's see. Um... You talked about Qigong, but are there other 
um, types of techniques um, to yeah. Qigong or other types of um, oh, yeah, practices. There's, yeah, There's like a yoga type of Qigong called, um, dang, um, why am I? <laughs> All right. Oh, dang. It's like, dang, I'm forgetting the word. It's like yin. It's like a yoga, but like a Qigong yoga. And it's like kind of like, I would say it looks like a dance. Like if you were just seeing somebody <laughs> do it, you would look like they're doing a dance. Mm. And just connecting it back to the star seedness, all this type of stuff comes from like, different worlds and stuff mm -hmm. you know yes, that's true it come from i know i know a lot of this stuff come from andromeda when it comes mm -hmm. to qigong yes. and stuff like that andromeda's really <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of the stuff comes from andromeda that's true but yeah like there's so many different things though like um oh yeah it's called tao yin, tao yin. Oh, okay yeah it's like um it's like a yoga type of qigong where you're going to be doing certain postures and then you're like flowing into it like yoga it looks like yoga too it kind of does look like yoga but it's like different but i would say it's all the same liberating your body stimulating your your um all your what they call energy centers energy points nadis i feel like all these practices do this very much the similar thing you know mm -hmm. like all of them yoga qigong tai chi um breath work working out too Cause some people don't even you don't even got to do any of this you know you can find out what best suits you and you know what's best suiting for your health you know because you can just work out and be intentional with your working out and control your breathing do running and you can unlock all your chakras in now you know and that <laughs> doesn't have to be you don't even have to do any meditation and people mm -hmm. won't tell you this yeah. but i'm telling you this <laughs> like <laughs> tell them <laughs> no. like you can have um you can just contemplate on things you can think about things very deeply Mm -hmm. And that could be a meditation on mm -hmm. your own. Yes. Just, it never has to be you sitting down breathing, but that works for a lot of people that I see. But it doesn't even have to be that. Yeah, I like to think, because um, I work, <laughs> I work in a, like, um, what's it called? A gas gas station, but it's also um, a sandwich shop. A sandwich and so shop. we have, sorry? To the sandwich shop? Yeah, yeah. So we also have things like um, donuts and uh, muffins, <laughs> cakes, cupcakes, yeah, stuff like, like that. Like gas food, gas like, yeah, yes, yeah. So the food you really want to like, oh, <laughs> what it's so bad, and like just not eating it, like just staying off of it. I think of that as a meditation too, to be able to like say no, <laughs> don't touch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat like, it, even though discipline. you want it so bad. <laughs> yeah like you built up that discipline to be like yeah, yeah i had it enough i don't want this no more <laughs> yeah that's like a way to build up discipline which is increasing your med mm -hmm. increasing the way how long you can stay around something that you know yeah. that you might mm -hmm. you might enjoy but you know it might not be good for you you know <laughs> that's discipline bro yeah it is seriously it really bro is. now if you do come across something that you know you shouldn't have at all You'd be like, yeah, I've been I've been around this type of stuff for years. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not for me, dog. Oh yeah, um, seeing seeing God in daily, seeing Source in daily. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, seeing Source in daily activities. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to hate doing dishes. Like I'm just I'm giving an example from my life. I, used I think to everybody did. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, like, it was like my nemesis. <laughs> so yeah, I remember like, now I can see like the divine and doing dishes. It is it is literally unfathomable now. Yeah. Like before awesome. I used to complain about it. I'm like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. But mm -hmm. now I'm like, it, I have to do it. It came my way. It came in my field. Let's get it done. <laughs> I just be like. Now I find myself doing a little bit of breath work while I'm doing dishes. I'm like, ah, I'm just getting okay. it done, you know? <laughs> yeah, like I'm that. like, wow. Like, just doing daily chores and stuff. Like, I, like, I wouldn't, I remember back when I was just younger in my younger days, I was not the most cleanliest person. But now I see, like, just doing divine thing, like, do, having seen that source and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, I have to sleep in my room every day. <laughs> if my room is a reflection of me you know yeah, yeah that's so true yeah. so if i gotta sleep in my room every day let's let's make it clean. to where yeah. i'm in a clean state clean room my brain is clean mm -hmm. my you feel me my being is clean because it's a reflection of me so i just started seeing it in that way <laughs> yeah, and like okay. when it comes to doing house chores or like things that you i didn't like to do at one point in time <laughs> now i can feel, see myself like yo i can do this <laughs> like i got that power now like 
I could I could see the God in it and I could see the source in it. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. this is this is powerful. I, I didn't come here not to experience this type of stuff. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was really interesting. I never thought about it like that. Like I knew I knew about your room, like room is a reflection of yourself. Like if your room is all messy, then your life is all messy also, or gonna be all messy. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think about it the way like dishes and stuff like that. Yeah, like dishes, clean the bathroom, like etc. Like now I'm like, yo. I got, I spend my time, like, it's just household things in general. Like, I spend my time in the house all the time. If I'm in the house all the time, it's somewhat a reflection of me. Like, your car, like, people's cars. Like, sometimes mm -hmm. people's car can be a little bit dirty, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, if you spend the majority of your time in the car, that is literally some part of you, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, seeing the God, the source in it is like, yo, it can be dirty, but can purify this with with that switched energy that's enveloping me i just started seeing it in that way now like i mean i to be honest like since i've been embodying unconditional love i just literally been seeing god and everything and i can't unsee it i can't see unsee the source and everything everything it's really beautiful if you can do that if you can really really do that i mean by, by meaning by um <laughs> If you can see the source and everything, like that's just really beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that's where it all comes from, bro. Yeah, so I'm just like, it's true. Everything is from source. And, yeah. and then, it, like, I would say, like, you you can meditate on it. You can con you can contemplate on it. Just thinking about like how everything connected, and then it'll go. It'll just go all back to that same source. Like it'll just keep going back to it. Like you can even think about how it's different, and then you're like, okay, it's different, but like, is it really different? Because bam, bam, and then go right back to the source again. I'm like, yo, <laughs> like in daily tasks, like it, I'm seeing it now. Like everything I do, every breath I take, yeah, that was basically about the um seeing source in daily life. So I'm just checking if I <laughs> didn't miss anything else because it could be I missed something. No, we have been through that. Mm -hmm. In what way? Exactly, have your psychic abilities like Claire, how do you pro even pronounce that? <laughs> Claire, Cognate. yeah, yeah, and Claire Sentience being enhanced or supported by Qigong. Oh, okay. Now, like, I would say, like, for um, Claire Cognance is like a sense of knowing, mm -hmm. yeah, um, intuition, more like, yeah, you know. like, Claire Sentience is like, um, like your senses, like, you can feel. I mean, that would kind of go empathic too. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say like with my qigong and stuff, I can feel like the energy leave my hand. Like if I'm doing a certain move and I can feel like just me doing this right now, I could feel it mm -hmm. leave in yeah, my hand yeah. and I can grasp the energy now. Like I can send energy and then I can bring it back in. Like, I can feel it in my hand. <laughs> and um, me doing this over a while, like it basically like extend, like basically gives you more capability with your org field that we already have. Like everybody has an org field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would say it kind of like um helps you maintain it energetically in a way. Like now I can I can feel sometimes where it might be a little crack in my aura, you know, and something might get in, and I'm like, oh, I don't think like this usually. Mm -hmm. Why is this happening? Yeah. You know? And I'm like, yeah. And then I, I do some qigong, and it might be stiff in one area. I'm like, oh, it might be, you know, mm -hmm. this <laughs> might be a, <laughs> it might be a crack in my yeah. aura, right? Okay. I need to work. <laughs> um, and then sometimes with the clear cognitive. Cognates, it's like with the yeah you said with qigong right um yeah it doesn't have to be qigong like maybe breathwork or yeah some things um it'll be like okay i know that i need to do this certain breath style for this reason let's mm -hmm. i yeah. might like I, I remember at the beginning of my journey i was using um guided meditation guided breath works and then it got to the point where like i learned a whole bunch of different mm -hmm. breathwork styles mm -hmm. and the guided sessions weren't as effective because i done learned it so much you know mm -hmm. yeah like i did it every day you know what i'm saying i learned it so much so it gets to the point where that now you're guiding yourself now now my intuition tells me oh do breath to fire um do reverse breathing um do two more or do two more breathing or do or do um pranayama or do bashrika or like just different type of breath styles that mm -hmm. I, I learned. And like, it'd be like, okay, like you need this right now, or you need this right now, or you might need to do a blindfolded breath work session, or it just <laughs> certain things like your clear cognizance could just, you know, it would just illuminate certain things. Like, oh, you know, this would be good for you right now. Like no questions, mm -hmm. like, you know, it would be good. And my, my clear intellect, I would say like, I'm, I've been learning about this a little bit more, but like, I definitely say like, it's more of an Octarian thing or or whatever, but everybody has it if you want to. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when it comes like numbers, bro, mm -hmm. I can add oh. up numbers just by sight, bro. 
<laughs> like I remember doing some math the other day, like it was like a little while ago. And like literally I seen how all the numbers can equal up. Like if a certain number has a certain qualities to it, I can see how that can add up to this number. Like it can reduce down to a certain number. Mm. I remember I was going ham one the other day. Like <laughs> and like um even when it comes to groceries and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I am sub not subconsciously, but I'm consciously kind of adding up the groceries while I'm buying it. Like not even trying to do it. <laughs> like I'm like, yo, this is gonna be like at least seventy dollars, <laughs> at least. And I'm not thinking about it at all. I'm just buying mm -hmm. groceries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just the groceries. I'm like, I this is seventy dollars, and then end up being seventy dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that is literally clear intellect in a way. Like, you're not really, like, taking a book and writing down, like, okay, this adds up to this, mm, this adds yeah. up to this. You see the numbers, the numbers click in your head, and it just adds it up on its own, you know? Yeah, yeah. I do that all the time, but I, I, I'm not always right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sometimes I'm I mean, like, it's I feel like you get better much. at it the more you yeah, do it. Yeah. And like, That's true. The more you deal with numbers and stuff like that and um and like now i can just see like how things reduce down like if i see like a couple numbers i can see like how it reduces down to one number so like i can look at the time and then be like it's right now is 116. i instantly know that it's eight you know like me not looking at it no more than a second i'm like oh that's eight mm -hmm. and i just see stuff like that now and like i know and like numbers also carry energy as well i learned about numerology and stuff and mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just started seeing it in that way too. Like numbers have their own energy. Yeah, everything has its own energy, you know, it all connects back to that source. But I started seeing stuff in that way. Like when it comes to numbers and your intellect with certain things, like I definitely research a lot about health. I could tell you that. Like even about um like yeah, the man and woman's body, like I can research a <laughs> lot. Like stuff that I shouldn't like like just as a human, like you'd be like, yo, why would why would you even want to know that? But I do. <laughs> just you. Okay. But like really um consciously looking for it of like when you're scrolling um scrolling through social media and you see something like like that or really um searching it in Google, so to speak. I would literally like I would I could hear somebody talk about something, right? And I'm like, I want to know everything to know it was about it. Mm. I want to have just the intellect about it. And then, like, that's why, like, when I do have conversations with people, they could talk about a topic that people don't usually talk about, and I'll have a little bit of information on it just because, like, I like mm -hmm. research and stuff. <laughs> so, like, it'll be a topic that people don't normally talk, like, they don't normally talk about or something, and they'll be like, yeah, did it out. And they'll just say something. I'm like, yeah, I know about that too. And now talk about what I know. And they're like, yo, people do not, I don't have this conversation that often. People probably be surprised, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, um, so how do you know? <laughs> like, oh yeah, how would you know this, bro? Yeah. Like, only a certain people know this. Yeah. And I'm like, I like I wanted to research it. <laughs> like, I definitely had some um, what's it called too? I remember I had a mission, a fair, I had a mission at a fair, bro. Oh and yeah, he's all about it, I think. <laughs> yeah, bro. That that mission is so profound to me. I was talking to um one of the people in the Discord and they were like, we were just on the phone and she was like, Yeah, you got a mission today. And I was like, I don't know why, but I just want to go to the fair. And she, and then she was like, You got a mission over there. And I was <laughs> like, Oh and then I went over there and it was a dark hypnotist. He was <sighs> yeah. <laughs> a dark hypnotist. And he was doing like I I've never seen hypnotism live before mm -hmm. can and you like i want i want to try something right now can you um this totally off topic just uh <laughs> just one can you just describe him like what did he look like what he looked like yeah he was uh a, a, a white male oh, no. with a ball cap he wore uh he wore a plaid type of shirt checkerboard type of plaid shirt <laughs> jeans jean pants and um like boots <laughs> okay wow no it's just because <laughs> see I've, I've had it a bit longer but just i'm, I'm just realizing it now that i've always had uh vision visions ability <laughs> like yeah when you, when, you when see, back then it. yeah yeah back then back then when you were talking about the guy about the whole place like it's, i could see everything in my mind and now now you were describing it as well all right just talking about it i saw it in front of me and that's why i was like no, no okay stop, stop stop can you please describe this guy <laughs> and it's exactly what i see Okay, so right, like cool. I've had this always, but I'm just realizing right now bro, that, that's I, your that, power, I, bro. that I have this. Is why, um, you make that website, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I made it the, the website for uh, I'm making 
I'm making another like because the website is more like you know you have your your own profile on Instagram your your own um, channel on YouTube but like mm. I'm I'm making like my own actual site yeah so I'm I'm, I'm working that also but yeah <laughs> bro see it's bro like, you I got that vision yeah, bro I yeah. remember um when you first joined bro and um you dropped they dropped like you had a website before right or like yeah yeah no no I I have I have the one um the um. <sighs> What is it? The art station. Art, art station. Yeah, yeah. Uh, art, profile. The art station, yeah. Bro. I remember seeing <laughs> it, bro, and I'm like, why? These pictures are really vivid. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I really tried really to. Seen, I never seen really seen like vivid extraterrestrial pictures, bro. Mm -hmm. And like when I've seen your stuff, I was like, yo, this is the truth, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I always try them to get as close as possible. You got them visions, bro. That's your yeah. gift, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I'm just realizing it right now, actually. <laughs> that I've always Yo, had this, but I just didn't realize. This is yeah. pretty cool. All right, back to the mission. Back to the yeah, mission. <laughs> back to the mission. <laughs> yeah. To the fair. The fair mission, bro. All right, so I'm letting my intuition guide me, right? I'm, I walked around the fair like one good lap, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. like I just want to walk around, and the next thing I know, I'm letting my, my soul guide me. Mm -hmm. Bam. I end up walking towards the hypnotist booth without me even... Like one, like I'm just walking around mm -hmm, and yeah. then I see this poster. Like I see this, um, like a, I would say like a little billboard, right? It doesn't say hypnotist. It's just like a schedule. I, I literally look at the schedule and I look down and then I see the hypnotist. I'm like, oh, I'm going. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm going. <laughs> like, I went right, walked right over there and the hypnotist thing just started. Like it just starting to start. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm like, oh shoot. Like I came in right time, right on time. And um, I'm seeing people get hypnotized for the first time. Like, mm -hmm. I might have seen it on the internet or something, but I'm seeing it face to face. And this dude did not have good energy at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Not at all. When I seen the people get hypnotized, right? I'm like, okay, okay. I seen when a person, like he snapped them out of the hypnotist, the hypnot out of the hypnosis, right? They were looking genuinely scared. Like they were looking so scared. Like they did they had like this grown man, like singing Lady Gaga, like walking like a model, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just giving it, like, this is exactly <laughs> yeah. what happened. And he snapped him out of the hypnosis. The dude looking so confused and scared, I, I couldn't, I was like, I just, I was like protecting those people at, at like literally protecting them energetically because like they could have like mm -hmm. did some manipulation to them. Cause th since he had bad energy, he definitely was dealing with dark art yeah, time beings. Sure. For sure. He was dealing with them. They were around him, dealing with them, probably trying to influence the people and stuff. So I pulled out one of my mudras. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've used it too ever since you talked about it. Like, I use it all the time. It, it does really work. It's just crazy. I, <laughs> I pulled out the mudra, bro. I held the mudra for a while, bro. Mm -hmm. The concert lights shut off. <laughs> like, the cold concert, <laughs> all the power cut off. Oh. I'm like, that part you didn't I tell. Know, bro. <laughs> Like I was just, yeah. I called on my spirit guys. Like when I'm watching, I was watching on the show. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, bro. Like he's doing some, like he he might think he's doing hypnosis or something, mm -hmm. but like yeah. the way he's doing it to the people, bro, he's not doing any way that's beneficial at all. Like mm -hmm. he's like making them make a fun of fun fun of themselves, and like these people looking scared after they get snapped. Like when I see them get snapped out of hypnosis, they were looking scared. They were looking like, what the hell just happened? Like, mm -hmm. and then when he said go to sleep, bro, like he told them to go to sleep, bro. And like, when I say like the whole body like went limp, they would go limp, bro. <laughs> and that would just like, it would just hurt my heart a little bit. Like I felt, it. I'm like, oh my God, bro. I need to be here right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like I was kind of protecting, I was protecting them energetically somewhat. Mm -hmm. And like, literally, bro, I held my mudra for a while, held this mudra. The concert lights shut off, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, and this is my first time doing a mission like that. So I'm thinking like, do I got to like, unplug some shit or like i'm thinking like how can i stop this and i was thinking like should i throw a rock but and then i was thinking about it and i was like nah, i shouldn't throw a rock so that true. would get me in trouble and then i was just thinking like how can i stop this because mm -hmm. this dude is doing some some doing some activities that i cannot get down with and i just held my mood and i kept calling on my spirit guys I was like yeah like just tell me like be with me mm -hmm. and then whole thing shut off all the power cut off <laughs> and then after that, bro, I'm like, yo, these, these demon energies is not, they cannot sustain this love energy that mm -hmm. I was giving yeah. out. They For couldn't sure. handle it. No, they can't handle it. Like the whole power cut off. And then it took him a little while to get it back up, but he got, they got it back up. 
Yeah. And then like he basically kind of speeded up the concert a little bit, like speeded it up. And like after that, I had got him in the astral jail, mm-hmm. and he wasn't able to do that same stuff he's doing no more. Like if they were putting implants on people, like like demonic implants or whatever they was, they couldn't do it no more. Cause I had like some just telling me like, yeah, tell your per- tell one of your friends that's in the astral police. You know, like mm-hmm. get one of your friends that do astral work that's mm-hmm. that deal yeah. with astral police and stuff like that. Tell them. And I told her and literally stopped it. Like, you feel me? He had <laughs> he was already in astral jail now. And you feel me? These people are protected now. Mm-hmm. And this stuff is real. Like, I don't know. And then like the energy I got from the dude, bro, he was using hypnosis from, from for for various things other than like his his own Con- like his little um his little concert or mm-hmm. always say yeah. little performance yeah, yeah performance. he was doing yeah. he was doing extra stuff and i felt him like oh he did some nasty things with hypnosis mm-hmm. i can feel it probably i can feel like i knew he did like mm-hmm. i'm like oh he did some nasty thing for hypnosis and then when i showed every i like, showed some people in the discord like what he looked like and stuff they were like oh hey he definitely did some weird stuff with hypnosis they could feel it too and i'm like yeah bro i didn't say anything about him doing anything weird with the hypnosis yet and they told me like, yeah, well, he does. He look like he does some weird stuff. And I was like, bro, I was getting that same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. and yeah, I was protecting these people. And I seen that that people like when people are in hypnosis states like that, they are very vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, for sure. If you ever see somebody's body just go limp, like he just tells you to go mm-hmm. to sleep, and like their body like like limp, bro, like the whole body like caved up, like they're asleep. I'm like, yo, there's. This is really happening right now. Yeah. And then after the concert, I just kept staring at him and like I was looking at him dead in his eyes, bro. And I'm like, I know what you're like, doing. I know you know you're doing fucking wrong right now. I want you to see that you're doing wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then after that, I went about my day. I got me a bonsai tree, which is right here. <laughs> I can check my bonsai tree. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so nice. Cute. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was my fair mission, bro. Mm-hmm. And that showed me that I definitely have a bit be, these abilities, bro. It definitely <laughs> made the mm-hmm. helping others and service to others, you know. Yeah. Did you have some other missions or was that the only one? Um I'm curious. That was like a big mission though. Yeah. I yeah. Okay. Like, go, go <laughs> Cause I feel like like if those were like some archon beings, like they was probably gonna be able to like do some wicked stuff. If I wasn't if I didn't go or something like that they were going to be doing some wicked stuff to people mm-hmm. yeah like implanting some nasty energies into them and yeah but i i had other missions but this is like the more profound like working mm-hmm. against some dark yeah. stuff and yeah i rem- like i just vividly remember this me just holding my mudra ooh excuse me holding <laughs> my mudra for very long and seeing seeing a reaction to the outside world Mm-hmm. So like I've seen reactions of me holding my mood drip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I see when I walk down the street, sometimes people will literally stare at me like cars stare at me like like they're angry or something. <laughs> I hold my mood drip. Like I always yeah. put it in my pocket, right? I just put my mood drip mm-hmm. in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, no, sometimes. I do too much more. <laughs> <laughs> people's reaction is just like yes yeah, like especially if they got some negative energy mm-hmm. bro they yeah. just be like i was doing i did that before but i didn't see no power cut off or nothing like that like the power cut off bro and i know the power is not gonna cut off like mm-hmm. i know nobody yeah. bugged anything <laughs> Damn. and i'm yo this is powerful man mm-hmm. like i'm a powerful being you know that's yes, how you thinking, but we, we all got this power mm-hmm. and that's yes. what that's what that's what this journey is about showing mm-hmm. other people that they got it in them too yeah those has been my missions for the most part like i've had several missions and they're mostly about just connecting the dots and helping people further um i guess yeah. i got those type of missions most of the time so not yeah, really like... not really what you experienced <laughs> or maybe not yet i mean I mean, like, I don't, I don't really have a lot of like demon fighting missions and stuff like that. I do have, I mean, it wasn't a mission, bro, but I do remember fighting. I don't know if it was a mission. I don't think, but, um, I was at my grandma's house one time and I um went to sleep there and somebody on discord was talking to me about astral projection. <laughs> and, and then the next thing, and then I was watching the live, I was on somebody's mm-hmm, live, mm-hmm. right on YouTube. And they end up talking about astral projection right after they texted me that about astral projection. I'm like, oh shoot, I'm thinking about <laughs> astral project tonight. <laughs> That's exactly what I knew. <laughs> My clear kind is like, yeah, yeah, you're about to ask me. And then I remember me um astral projecting and stuff. I remember there was like a being or something trying to impersonate my grandma. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. And, and trying to attack me, right? And like I pulled out my mudra and I was like, <laughs> and um, this is in the astral, bro. And like, you ever see like a movie or something where somebody like pulls out a gun and gets a shooting? Mm -hmm. That's how it was with my mudra. <laughs> I, I just like, I woke up, I'm like, I open my eyes up in the astral. Like, I don't even, I've, like, it looks so real, bro. Mm -hmm. it, it looked yeah. physical. And I'm opening my eyes, I'm like, pew, pew, pew. you feel me? The, the entity was gone or they left or I, I think I got them. But yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. dang, like yeah. something told me to bring my Palo Santo to my grandma's house. Something told me to like, like, I felt like I needed to bring that to my grandma's house. And my grandma's a person that's like really religious. So like, I didn't tell her I was bringing it, but I just brought it. <laughs> I just brought it. And ha I happened mm -hmm. to bring it because there was a being messing with them, like mm -hmm. my grandma and my aunties. Yeah. So I had to help them out. And they def I know they probably have some better sleep that night. <laughs> but they have. They have. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and um, i've i've seen like now like i'll have like so i feel like some of my missions be like hopping on live and teaching mm -hmm. about um mm -hmm. breath work or something or or i feel like my posts be sometimes missions though you know yes of course sure i mean people people run from that also so people see it like like uh which one was it i don't know i saw i saw there was one post of you today or, or yesterday or whatever i don't know because i don't always check um yeah, new great. posts and stuff like that but like it was really something i needed but i don't remember which one it was i just know know that i i, I needed it really at the at the time when i saw it at work because <laughs> it was really <laughs> There was, yeah. yeah, just... It, it'll be stuff like that, bro. It'll be mm -hmm. like, you say something or something like, oh, yeah, I need to say this today. And mm -hmm. then you say it, and then someone like, yo, I need to hear yeah. that today. Yeah. Or like, it'd be stuff like that. And like, I'd be like, oh, dang, like, I'm doing God's work. I'm doing source work. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Oh, yeah. Um, I said changing your energy is... Changing your energy is changing your habits. Mm -hmm. Yes. You talked about it a little bit, but if you want to go yeah, deeper on that, you can do it. Yeah, changing your energy is changing your habits. Um, yeah, like we are habitual, a habit, habit based creature. Um, if we take hot showers every day, that's a habit. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you um, fall asleep on your side every day, that's a habit. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes you just you can break a habit just a little bit and you'll see a profound change. Because mm -hmm. if yes. you think about it, right? I think about it in this way sometimes, like, okay, if we're always if this is like a cosmic theater, right? Who who would want to watch a movie that this it's literally the same the same <laughs> the same thing every single mm -hmm. day. Yeah, okay. Like I know I had to break one of the, um yeah. break something for myself. Like I remember I was working out every single day, like doing 90 push ups every single day. <laughs> and it got to the point where um, that was, I was becoming attached to that habit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I had to break it because why? Again, I was thinking about it like, if this is a cosmic theater, who wants to just see me, somebody do the same thing <laughs> over and over and over and over again? Mm -hmm. You're going to get bored of it yourself eventually, right? Yeah. And like, sometimes you can switch yeah. it up, you know? And it, you can have profound experiences just by switching up something that you might deem like, oh, I do this every day. Like something like minuscule. Like it could be like um mm -hmm. I, like you take hot showers every day. You take a cold shower every once in a while now. Bam. You got some profound experiences now just hopping in the cold shower real mm -hmm. quick. <laughs> um yeah, and I noticed that like from you can apply this to anywhere in life though. Anywhere in life. Mm -hmm. Anywhere like So from now on I should have shown up late to work. <laughs> okay. Now now no, no. <laughs> just a joke. Now now you showing up late to work if it's an outcome that you know that's be not beneficial <laughs> how late to work are you showing up a minute late oh yes i've never uh, been i've really i've worked here for two years now i've never been late so i think they would just you know pass this time have you ever called in sick i've gone to work always uh, if i'm sick i always went to work i've never never called in sick um never was late to work so i think if i ever were to do it like they would just say okay this one time <laughs> yeah because they have never been in they would years. give you that because they mm -hmm. see that oh yeah he works all the time and if he is feeling not too good one day he does put in work for us so mm -hmm. we can give him we can give we can slide him some room <laughs> you know you might got a sick day you might be able to take if you really need to one day you know yeah but yeah i wouldn't say like you can apply it to everywhere in life but like <laughs> everywhere that you know that mm -hmm, it can yeah. be a little bit more flexible mm -hmm. like yeah i wouldn't say yeah do not do not do that when it comes to work <laughs> <laughs> or but just, all right so look just it could be like this like, you might, yeah. <laughs> like you might feel like you got more energy right yeah at work right mm-hmm 
you might feel like if you could put overtime in, you might be able to put overtime in some days, you know? That's that's changing up your routine because mm -hmm. you work. Yes, it is. Some people usually work nine to five, but today you decided to work nine to six because you had more energy that day. Mm -hmm. that's, that's breaking. You're changing up your energetic habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Changing, your, changing up your energy is changing up your habits. So like, yeah, like when it comes to meditation now, like um, just breath work and stuff, you get to a point by doing it so much that, when you, you can feel your breathing change just from doing that habit of breath work. Mm -hmm. I, I can like, when I get up, like if I get like upset or something, that's inevitable because we, we chose to do a human experience. Yeah, so that's true. you might feel a little upset, but you can feel like, oh, my breathing shifted a little bit. Why am I feeling like this? Like you can start asking yourself these type of questions, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, yeah like it could be <laughs> like, it could be very minuscule. Like I'm going to be teaching in the near future about it too. Like just doing like a little bit of like a little bit of working out and stuff mm -hmm. that like, I would say like, I'm going to do like a minute or less workouts. I got to do something <laughs> like that. Or like, that's yeah, just the idea. Do that. Thing. Like, do that. A minute or less, like there's no excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be really interesting. I think people uh, would love to see and know that also people's attention span is <laughs> the days day and age really <laughs> really short Very so, yeah. so i mean that could be really beneficial to do yeah, it that and like minute or less or workout and, you mm -hmm. know and i just know if i know for me like that i seen that me like I, when i started out doing my routine and like doing like doing working out uh very much often like often and i was really disciplined with it too but i had to you feel me shift that because i was getting attached to it but just working out very often right mm -hmm. you don't gotta make it a big huge thing i remember when i in the beginning of my journey with working out you know how many push-ups i did <laughs> Tell yes. me. you can guess didn't you Mm. educated guess <laughs> educated maybe a hundred something i don't know all right that was later on down the line okay later on but in the beginning, the beginning okay yeah maybe 50 it was nine push-ups bro oh nine just nine bro mm -hmm. but i would consistently do it every day and i would um i started out doing nine slow push-ups just slow oh slow ones okay. would, that would be challenging for me yeah. bro that was extremely challenging for me like extremely at the beginning and I seen the progression just for me doing it every day. I got up to 90 push-ups. Less than a year, bro. Mm -hmm. Damn. Just for me doing nine push-ups every day. I literally 10x'd it. <laughs> I should do that too. I should try it. <laughs> literally, like I started out doing nine push-ups. It could be three for somebody else. Like three mm -hmm. slow push-ups yeah. or something. And you can progress. And then I've seen it for myself that I feel I felt the body shift. I felt I got stronger and I had more discipline because why? Like I knew like, oh, I was doing nine pushups. I could, it, this is not the um, longest thing in the world to do. And it's not <laughs> the most taxing thing mm -hmm. in the world to do. Yeah. But I did it. It builds up that willpower, you know? So you can go like, oh yeah, I, I did this before for a, a extended amount of time. You know, I can do something else for an extended amount of time. And then once you like gain that discipline with yourself, you can apply it to all aspects of life. Yeah, and like relaxing too. Like that's one thing, a big thing I can say too. Like once you do get to a point where you're like you're working out every single day, Mm -hmm. You got to start relaxing just as yes. much as you work out. And that is speaking from experience. Like, <laughs> I was overworking myself mm -hmm. and I seen yeah. it. I see it like vividly now. Like, before I didn't really see it as much. I was like, oh, I got to work out every day. <laughs> like, I was priding myself yeah. working out every day. <laughs> and then I seen for myself that, like, you, pro like, I remember just doing 90 push ups every day for a while. And I'm like, I'm not getting as strong as I was before doing the nine push-ups. Why mm -hmm. is that? And then it's because that my body needed some rest. Like you need to mm -hmm. rest yeah. to rejuvenate the tissues rest. sometimes, you know? Sense. Like sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, every time. <laughs> rest is just as important mm -hmm. as working yes. out. Yes, for sure. It's just as important. Like your body needs time to, okay, mm -hmm. we're not doing a workout for this day. So just because I know I need to build up the muscle again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I would be sore doing workouts, doing ninety push-ups, and like I already was sore from the last <laughs> days doing ninety push-ups. And I'm like, I, I'm like, I gotta keep going. And then me just giving myself rest, I felt, I, I felt like I grew bigger, like overnight. Hmm. Like one of the days I just stopped. I was like, yeah, I was, I was learning about breaking like your habits and changing your habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the day I was like, dang, I, I think I think this is kind of becoming like a, a attachment to it, this habit i do even though it's a healthy habit working out it's healthy but i i might have became attached to doing it the way i was doing it, it ain't what you do it's how you do it right i got attached to doing it and then the 
I broke that attachment by not working out like for a, like a, like two days or three days. And I felt the, I felt like I got even bigger, bro. Like muscle wise. I'm like, wow, I didn't even work out. Yeah. It's really interesting. I know there are some techniques that you don't even, I mean, you just spoke about in the beginning, like only breathing can only bring muscles. But I was thinking about like, just also just like imagine it. Like if you imagine it every day, like you're working out on oh. your muscles, Oh yeah. Um, be, even heard, without, without even well. doing it, then also you gain muscle or something like that. I, yeah. I remember that, um, that if you have dreams, right, if you have a, if you're a really strong, vivid dreamer, right? <laughs> like me, <laughs> if you work out in your dreams, bro, that's stimulation to your muscles because your brain doesn't really know yeah it doesn't, it just knows doesn't know the happening. difference yeah it just knows that oh you felt like this so this is happening mm -hmm. so if i was working out in my brain mentally my muscles would still twitch like i was working out <laughs> might not, not might not be as much of a contraction you know mm -hmm, but yeah. it's still twitching like you're working out building muscle and it shows me that we're so powerful that that our thoughts can build up muscle yes sure. and i was t i was speaking about this other day like our thoughts, like when it comes to alkalizing the body, right? Mm -hmm. um, we can alkalize our body, basically um, making it into a more alkaline state. And um, from my research, and you can research it on your own for anybody who's watching. <laughs> um, when your body's in alkaline state, no disease can survive in an alkaline yes, environment. That's true. And it doesn't have to be just from food. It doesn't have to be like that. You can alkalize your body with words, your thoughts, and actions. So. Mm -hmm. If I'm speaking alkalizing type of words, like I'm speaking life into myself, I'm saying I love myself, I'm saying that I'm powerful, I'm saying you literally can make yourself healthier doing that. Mm. Yeah. If I'm thinking, if I'm thinking those type of things as well, I can make myself healthier doing that. If I'm doing actions that 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 make me feel like that, I'm making myself powerful. I'm making myself more healthier. It just shows me that like it doesn't always it doesn't it's always many, many um yeah, it's many paths to the same so the same the same port, the same road. There's mm -hmm. many paths to that same road. And like, I'm just seeing it like, yeah, like you don't have to eat a certain way because <laughs> I'm learning now that eating is all eating is like, you feel me? Even the most cleanliest diet you can think of, mm -hmm. it's still somewhat of a poison because yes. if you eat to live, you eat to die. It's, it's all connected. Mm -hmm. And people don't talk about this very much. No, they but don't. Yeah. They really don't. But yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if you're vegan or anything. Like it doesn't matter about any of that. Like you can still ascend to higher dimensions and of consciousness, because mm -hmm. it's literally each it's it's an individual journey. It's not one set way to get to a certain way. It's never like that. If it was like that, everybody would be doing it already. You know, like if they if everybody knew like if you could ascend to five D in only one way, you know. Mm -hmm. Then, it's yeah. not like that. There's yeah. multiple so, ways, but it could be like a couple beneficial things, like unconditional love, that makes it way easier to ascend to different types of higher densities, you know. But there's people that probably ascended there without it and experienced a different way. I can't speak for them. I only can speak for myself. So, <laughs> but yeah, there's like multiple different ways to get to that same road, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and like. Yeah, I didn't really talk about breatharian. I did, I did talk about breatharianism. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been it's been two hours already, but but yes, you you have you have been you have talked about it. Yeah, <laughs> about yeah it. everybody, please. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here because my dinner is ready also. So oh, yeah. really, thank you to be on here. It was really interesting talking to you. <laughs> bro, I definitely enjoyed this convo, bro. It was yeah, definitely nice awesome. watching. Thank yes. you for hosting me. Yes, no um, problem. I would love to have you. Stay positive, everybody out there. Yes. You feel me? Much love to you all.